What is going on everyone? Today we are back at it talking more about my Alpha One experiences with the pre-test that we did last week, giving you a bit more detail on my thought on combat, on the cleric class, on action versus tab targeting combat, and the changes that Steven is planning to make in an upcoming build to help improve combat. Because as a lot of you have probably heard, combat wasn't the greatest. There's a lot of tuning to go with this. It was a good start. It gave, I mean, it was... It felt like tab targeting, but with action thrown into that, I expect a bit more, and they are working on changes, and we're going to talk about them. But before we get into that, again, lots of news coming down. I can talk about everything. I have lots of videos planned now. I'm going to keep going with some of the info videos I have on different systems in the game, but as I play and as I test, I'm going to give you guys more and more details. They're actually said, which I can say this because no verbal NDA, but they said that we're going to start doing weekly tests, so that is going to be pretty awesome. But anyways, hit that subscribe button because there's a lot coming down the pipe. So let's get into the cleric class. So as I said in my last video, I picked the Cleric as my main class to play through this testing because it was the most like Paladin-like, holy warrior type of plate wearing kind of guy. It's the best way I have to explain it. Again, I'm not writing the script for this, so I'm just rambling and we'll see where it takes me. But anyways, it's the type of character I tend to play. I normally leer to that or like a mage type character. With the 64 class combination coming down the road, I'll probably branch out and try something new because there are so many options and honestly, I might just play a bard. Who knows? But... Starting off, as the base class, the cleric in the alpha is the healer. It has some DPS spells, it has some healing spells, and honestly, for the healer, because you have the tank, you have the mage as the DPS, the cleric as the healer, the cleric felt more geared towards DPS and healing, although some of the healing spells were pretty OP, which we'll get into in a minute. Overall, again, it's early, so it's hard to judge this, but it felt more DPS vibe than healer vibe, but that might have been because I just like swinging my mace around doing auto attack and action combat. So when you spec into a skill, it's kind of, it's like a very basic talent tree. You start out with no spells and you have, I I don't remember how many skill points. It was like five or 10 skill points you could spec into. Probably not 10, not that many. And then as you spec it in them, that unlocked your skills. So it looked just like it does on screen here. And you have to have so many points invested in the first tier to get to the second tier and so on and so forth. There was no passive abilities to spec into yet. There's still no weapon abilities to spec into. It was just unlocking your spells that way. And what was different about it, it was not every level gave you skill points. It was like every fourth of a level gave you a point. So as you're going through and progressing and doing these quests and killing monsters and all that, you get a skill point pop up every once in a while. And it threw me off at first. I thought it was glitching because all of a sudden I checked and I just specced into something and then I have another skill point, but I hadn't leveled up. But from what I gathered, I mean, I could be off on this, but it seems like every fourth or third of a level, you get another skill point. I'll have to look into that a bit more when I actually jump back into the testing. And as you spec in those spells, it makes those spells a bit more powerful. It gives you different abilities. Abilities. All of the abilities that are on the Cleric Breakdown thing on the Ashes website are in the game, except for I don't think I saw Exorcism, which is the power of the Cleric compels you. Exorcism unleashes a bout of holy power that rips at your target spirit, channeling damage over time. A divine energy blast damages nearby enemies at the end of this channel. That might have been in there, I might not have been paying attention, but I didn't hit max level. I only hit level seven on this character because I spent more time exploring the world. What I did like though, so my favorite abilities, I'm links in the description so you can see all the abilities, was Divine Censure, which was very overpowered for damage wise, I feel like for being level four and being able to like two shot a guy if I use this ability. But it basically, it throws a spear at a target dealing damage. There's a slight lock in position, casting effect on it so you can't move and it doesn't break animation while you move, which is something that they need to work on but that's coming down the pipe um that was a pretty cool ability did a lot of damage like i said and then the other one was hollowed ground which just put up this bubble around you and healed and it was a very overpowered healing it, again all this stuff needs to be tuned it's it's just in there to give you a feel for the class and it's not even close to the abilities they have but this bubble like the visual effects on this bubble were 
perfect. It looked really well done. It, it was a little bit over the top. I mean, the ground was glowing above you. There's a rainbow going through the bubble and all of that. And honestly, at some point when I was fighting off the giant green elder dragon, I couldn't tell if I was standing in a player's ability. I couldn't tell if I was standing in the boss's ability. So that definitely needs to be tuned for the rating sake down the road, even though it looks really good. Because like auto attack also, you just, you're swinging auto attack and there's like these blue sparks that just come up everywhere. And when you have 30 people all doing these abilities at once with all of these special effects into it, it's a bit overwhelming and you can't really tell what's going on. But anyways, back to Hollow Ground. Again, I'm just going on a rant here. But Hollow Ground, it does the heal, but it also damages enemies that come in. So towards the end of the test, when we're all just kind of messing around in PvP, with five to 10 minutes before the servers are taken down for the end of the testing, I kept popping this up because we were all flagged as combatant. And every time somebody ran through it, it would do damage to them and it was just kind of fun to watch because we're messing around on this mount that like whips players across the town with the um with its tail it's actually the one steven put on twitter i'm gonna put it in the video right here but yeah so people were just messing around with that mount because we had all this free gold from steven and then i just kept popping up this bubble and it was doing damage to everybody and they really didn't know what was going on i don't think because most of them stood in it and then one of them died but anyways yeah, that's my thoughts on the cleric, on the abilities. Otherwise, I mean, you have your basic heals, you have like devotion, which was more like a flash of light type thing. If you played WoW, you had a resurrection, you had just some, your basic auto attacks, you had judgment, which was throwing a hammer. That one, I thought it was a good range thing. The spear actually, I believe, was a longer range spell than judgment, and the spear did more damage, but judgment had a quicker cooldown. Otherwise, though, there weren't any abilities currently in there that you could just constantly cast. Like, I never ran out of mana as a cleric, and there was no, like, okay, I can constantly cast these three or four attacks and chain them together to do more damage. When I was, when all of these spells were on cooldown, such as the Judgment and the Spear, it was just hitting Q, which was the auto attack, or because I jumped into action combat a lot, and then you clicked to auto swing, which actually, as a melee character, I think felt a lot better. I liked doing the auto attack and just going through and attacking players and doing damage and it felt more engaging, it felt more fun, as when I played the mage, it made no sense to do auto attack on the spells because now I'm aiming this fireball or I'm aiming this wand to cast this effect, but I could miss. Like, if I'm playing PvP, I don't want to miss. If I'm doing tab targeting, it's automatically going to hit that character. So there's got, they got to find a way to balance that a bit, I think. Because why would you ever choose aiming a wand at a character to land an ability when you could just have it auto hit them when you're tab targeting? But other than that, action combat I thought was pretty good. It was pretty fun. Um, I loved running around auto swinging. I actually played more in action combat than I did in tab targeting just because... I like to have the mouse move the camera around instead of having to click and drag the camera like you would in a traditional tab targeting MMO. So when I was mounted, I was always in action combat and running around and then just going where I moved my mouse instead of having to move the camera manually and all that. But again, it's all alpha. It's going to be tuned. All of this is going to be tweaked. Lots more abilities are going to be added. There's going to be the class combos. We're going to see more classes. And as we see more classes, as they continue to get feedback, then we're going to see these classes evolve and it's going to be fun to watch them evolve and now i can talk about them evolving because the verbal nda is also dropped for future tests so anything i play going forward i can talk about and there's going to be lots of ranty videos like this so i hope you guys are ready you got to keep in mind this testing right now isn't a content test it we're not meant to jump in and test the rating and test the quests and all that stuff they're not looking for feedback on that mostly right now because it's far from complete what they're looking at is like server connections and how the launcher worked and how the client worked and all of that we're gonna see a lot of character and class changes down the road with questing and everything like that when they're asking for feedback on that because this is just to give you something to play while you test out these other features for them anyways jumping into some of the combat changes this is not by any means all of the changes that are going to be happening in the alpha one like this is going to be a progressive thing doing the combat revamp doesn't mean they're putting in all of the combat changes at once it means it's basically the start of it and they're going to progressively go forward and keep changing and tweaking the combat as they get player feedback so the first testing for combat is going to increase the rotational speed when root motion attacks occur there's going to be 
the ability to allow dodge to cancel animation. So if you're in one of these root abilities right now and you try dodging, it doesn't let you. It doesn't cancel the spell. So it kind of defeats the purpose of dodge. When holding W, A, S, or D to move, they're going to allow your combo attacks to be... They're going to allow your combo attacks to be split body, basically meaning you're going to attack with your upper body and you're still going to be moving. It's not going to lock your character in place like it does now. These changes are coming down the next couple weeks. Something else that's changing is there's going to be a immediate loot function which right now you have to hold e and then the inventory pops up and there's not a loot all you have to select every item so that will be coming down the road as well so you don't have to inspect the bag and you have to deal with the animation you just loot it all this stuff that steve has talked about is in the alpha testing discord which i can't show you anything that pops up in there because nda but i can talk about it i verified i double checked i got permission so i can talk about this which makes i get paranoid with the nda especially as a content creator because i don't want to ruin anything for anybody i hope you guys enjoyed this not very quick video because i ramble on and on i want to know in the comments down below what you guys want to hear from about me what you want to learn about ashes of creation what you want me to talk about anything any questions you have put in the comments down below. If you have yet to create an Ashes account and sign up for the forms or purchase cosmetic packs or buy alpha access, well, I got a referral link right there in the description below and the comments below that you can click on. Otherwise, be sure to hit that subscribe button, click that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.